morning from Gooseburg State Park. Restful night's sleep. Uh, I had a late night. It was after 11 before I finally went lights out and, and got to bed. Uh, shut my eyes. Got a bunch of stuff done with the videos. Um, navigator, captain, and zookeeper are all packed up and they're packing their food. Well, actually, a zookeeper's gonna head out today. So he's, he's ready to go. Let me get over here, the car coming. Uh, zookeeper's ready to go. He's gonna head out today, so we're gonna drop him off at the trailhead. Captain and Navigator are gonna hang out with me for the day. Um, we're gonna be hanging out at the coffee shop. I'm gonna be at Walmart uploading eight videos that I took care of yesterday. Um, and we have a plan, the three of us, to hit the trail uh, either tonight into a stealth spot or first thing tomorrow morning, like real early tomorrow morning. We're gonna do three days into Grafted Notch, two and a half, three days, depending on the terrain, to get to Grafted Notch. Uh, and then where Sherry will pick us up there. So uh, I'm gonna finish my breakfast. I'm gonna get some things done and we're gonna head out to Walmart and these guys are gonna hang out at a coffee shop and Zookeeper's gonna hike in the rain. It's about 8.30 in the morning. I'm gonna head into Walmart here and uh, upload some videos. I've got eight of them to do. Look, it's just starting to rain. Sherry's gonna go drop off Zookeeper. He's gonna hike on today, so careful Zookeeper. Be safe. I'm gonna head on in here and head to the garden section. Here we go, this'll do. That's the office. Perfect. A little over two hours later, I've got eight videos uploaded and we are ready to roll. I'm gonna get back out to the van and we're gonna go find uh, Navigator and Captain, see where they are, um, and figure out what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. Navigator went into the hardware store slash outfitter here. Uh, Gorham, I think it's Gorham Hardware and Outfitter. She had a pole issue, a trekking pole issue. She's seeing if she can get a tip replaced on, her, on one of her poles. I'm out here finishing up some video work. I've gotta get some stuff onto the hard drive. So I'm working on that real quick. Uh, and then I'm not sure what we're gonna do for the rest of the afternoon. We'll figure that out here in a minute. Successful trip to the hardware store. Navigator got her trekking pole fixed and got a fuel canister. Uh, we're back here at Walmart. They uh, both need to do a little resupply shopping. Uh, because of the way we're going to be traveling, there's the opportunity for them to continue to just resupply out of the van randomly. So they're gonna go and pick up a bunch more stuff to have in the van. Uh, and every three to five days, depending on uh, road access for Sherry, we'll hike to the van and, and just resupply out of there. Uh, either taking like a zero at a trailhead or just resupplying and continuing on. We'll see how that all works. I'm still uh, getting videos put on the hard drive there while they're in there shopping and hanging out with, hanging out with Bailey. Turned out to be a beautiful day after the rainstorm this morning. We're parked here uh, in the back of McDonald's. Um, we're just gonna hang here for a little bit longer. We've got all of our things done. I've got all the videos taken care of. I did everything on the hard drive I needed to do, so that's good. Ooh, that sun, Woo, that's nice. Um, and we're about ready to just kinda get going with the rest of our day. We're gonna drive to the trailhead and walk the road walk um, I was like 0.3 or something road walk to get to uh, the parking area where we're going to spend the night and we're going to spend the night right there just at the trail where the trail goes back into the woods that way we can get a real early start tomorrow we have a plan for uh, three days, two nights on trail going to get us into Maine we're going to be to Maine in a couple days you guys, last state one more state to go after this I just can't even believe it we've come so far uh, so that's what we're doing. I'm going to finish up a couple things here and we're going to hit the road to get to the trailhead. 7.30, Sherry dropped us off here at the trailhead where we got picked up right by the dam. They got two spillways open now. It rained a lot today. Uh, we're going to walk the point two or whatever it is uh, on the road to get to uh, the trailhead that we're going to sleep at. So uh, let's go do a road walk. It's 10 after 8. We did our little point, I think it was like a point three or something, road walk up to uh, this little pull-off 
on Hogan Road. The AT goes into the woods right that way. Uh, it's dark, as you can see. And we pulled up here and there's another uh, van and a pickup truck. Had the same idea as us. <laughs> they're through hikers as well. I don't know how they're doing that. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. But anyway, there's two, two folks that are, that are parked right here. So I'm going to say good night. There's mosquitoes all over the place. I'm going to say good night. We had a great uh, zero day in town. It was good to have the day off and get some stuff done. Um, I'm going to get a good night's sleep and hit the trail early in the morning. So we'll talk to you then. Good night.